What's going down, Clutch? Squat! What up, what up, what up? It's your boy, Dub. It's your boy, Ross. We're in the Clutch. Hey, hey. back to ladies and gentlemen, the video today, you feel me? Back with another hey. uh, Try Not to Laugh Life and Scars TikTok compilation. The first of November, baby. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know me. I love these holidays coming in next, man. You know, you got Thanksgiving, got the Christmas, got the family time coming in. And... So and I got the just... red on. You know he just want to drink the eggnog, y'all. I mean, no, nah, that's not it. Even though I did get me some. <laughs> that's that's what it is on the first day. But now, nah, so we got life and scars TikTok compilation. So the homie, shout out to the homie Theo. Mm -hmm. Uh, he sent us this video saying he got us on the Toronto Lab that we was gonna fail for show. Now, right. the challenge is since we have the Cowboys merch, he said the punishment is y'all gotta go to a Texans game with the Cowboys merch on. That's. That's now, I don't think y'all understand. Wearing the cowboy stuff was the bottom of the barrel. For sure. I don't think I felt more disgusted in my life. Mm -hmm. But then having to wear that same said hat to an actual Texans game. Yeah. So for this video specifically and mm -hmm. only, uh, we've accepted his challenge. I'm All trying right. not to laugh. So we finna get into this mad boy. Not gonna take y'all uh, time too much longer, but just wanted to explain the consequences if we fail this trying to laugh. So... Uh, hopefully, he said it was going to be funny. So with that much stake into it, right, we man. have to accept it. So we're about to get into it. Make sure y'all want to like, subscribe. Let's go. Let's do it. <clears throat> How to stop jacking your dick. Hey, look, y'all, the two main reasons why you jack your dick is because of boredom and access. You might just be hanging around the house and you'll bump into the kitchen table or you could be sitting on the couch watching TV and you'll scratch your nuts. Both of those can cause your dick to get hard. And so you'll look down and you'll be like, well, since we're here now, wow. stop thinking like that. Leave that dick alone. And when it comes to access on these social media sites, y'all ain't following nothing but badass bitches. And every yeah. time you log into Instagram or something, you'll see a bitch doing some jumping jacks or twerking and your dick get hard and you'll think, well, I might as well go to the hub and finish it out. Unfollow these bitches. Change your mindset. Um, Black Friday about to come up, y'all. And everybody else is getting all the good advertisements on the electronics, mm. the TVs and shit. You're getting advertisements on dick pills. Google knows you. Next time you feel like you need to jack your dick, I want you to grab the head of your dick and the base of your dick. Twist one hand to the right, one hand to the left. Go back and forth till you learn your lesson. Game is game. That, Why, though? That bro? doesn't make it any better. How to LeBron James a bitch. Hey, y'all, the LeBron James is a sex move. And you're gonna need four items. You're gonna need a chair, a headband, some baby powder, and a bitch with a strong neck. So you're gonna have your strong neck bitch sit in the chair. She gonna tilt her head all the way back. Her mouth <clears throat> need to be pointed straight up towards the ceiling. You are gonna take 20 to 25 steps back and go ahead and put your headband on. I know what it you is. You can be playing some theme music in the background, by the way. But after you got your headband on, I want you to grab the baby powder, put it in one of your hands, clap your hands together, Throw that shit in the sky like brun brun. Then I want you to run towards this bitch. When you get close, I want you to leap in the air. When you jump up in the air, pull your dick up and spread your legs so only your balls hanging down. And I want you to try to dunk your balls in this bitch mouth. No teeth, no lips, just mouth. Now when you land, if you hear a little crackling sound in her neck, then just like brun brun, don't look back, don't touch the bitch. Take your challenge to South Beach. Game is game. Dog. The advice, <sighs> bro. Uh, this, this is my first time seeing this video. I got 400,000 followers, and I'm pissed the fuck off. It ain't about the followers. I love you motherfuckers. I rock with y'all, and thank you. You know, I appreciate y'all like a bitch. But it came with an account warning. The video that I posted yesterday account on how to fuck your teacher is apparently a danger to minors. I never said anything about age. I never said what type of school we were talking about. Didn't say nothing about elementary, high school, or college, which I was talking about college. Now, another TikToker posted the same shit that I posted, took my exact words, and made his own fucking video about the shit, and it's still up and rolling. Welcome to the world. But hey, <clears throat> I guess it is what it is. Guys, if you are underage, you should not be trying to fuck your sexy ass, <laughs> fine ass, big titty ass sign up teacher with the wagon in the back that make you want to. Don't do that, y'all. Game is game. Bro, I've seen some of his clips before. Nigga How to put a bro. bitch in the alligator fuck house. Y'all, this right here is a the sex what? book. So as always, get what you consider consent. So it go like this. 
Make sure that everything seems normal right up until the time you're about consider? to come. It might be best if you're hitting it from the back. Regardless, right before you bust that nut, bite the bitch. You're going to have to bite her in the back of her neck. Keep your teeth lodged into her shit. Now, she might start frailing around or wiggling. It's fine. It's all part of the process. What you're going to do is you're going to grab her arms with your arms, lock them up. Grab her legs with your legs, lock them up. Next is where all the fun begins. You are going to initiate a death roll, just like an alligator do. Keep your dick lodged inside of the whole time. If you're on the bed, you can just roll back and forth. If you're on the floor, you can roll anywhere. You can roll down the goddamn hallway. But keep rolling around until self-satisfaction is complete. All right? Duh. Game is game. This nigga said what? bite her on the back of the neck. <clears throat> How to talk to a hood, bitch. Hey, y'all, one day you're going to come across a badass little hood, bitch, and you're going to be able to spot these women by the way that they talk and by the way that they dress. They talk like one of your homeboys, but they dress sexy as fuck at the same time. Now, with these women, you need to come off just like them. Unlike the shy type who wants somebody opposite, these women want somebody who's just like them. So you need to come off showing that you have some turmoil going on. Uh, show that you're a little bit unstable, unpredictable, and dysfunctional. They love that shit. They thrive off of having drama going on. You got to constantly renew the relationship with these kind of women. Now, you're probably asking constantly yourself, well, if I'm a good dude, I can't have a girl like this. You can if you got enough money. And she'll stay with you. But that gangster dick coming from somewhere else. So if you're not naturally a thug or an asshole, don't get with these women. Because they demand a strong mental presence. And at the same time, have consent. So it go like this. That's For about 30 days, you can't fuck nobody. You can't jack your dick. That's going to be the amount of time you need to build up the power that's necessary. During that time, I need you to work out, eat a lot of fruits, and stay hydrated. That's going to make your nut indestructible. Now, when it's time for you to fuck somebody, I want you to fuck them like you normally would. But right before you finish, I want you to pull your dick out, and I want you to nut in the palm of your hand. Try to keep it all in the center. Then, just like Spider-Man, I want you to point your fingers towards him, palm towards the sky, and I want you to pull your middle finger up and your ring finger up. And I want you to slam it down in the palm of your hand. If you apply enough pressure, it should make the nut shoot out and stick to the other person while the other end is still attached to your hand. Then I want you to slowly but surely pull that person to you closer and closer until they respect you. Hey, we Peter Parking bitches. We ain't playing. Game is game. Oh, this nigga oh, say until shit. they respect you, bro. This nigga is a fool, bro. This nigga saying the palm How of your hand. How to get your ass ate like your daddy did. Look, man. I know all the young dudes out there gonna hear me talk about getting your ass ate and they're gonna think, ew, that shit nasty, all that stuff. Man, shut the fuck up. Cause it's the cold hard truth. If you keeping your hygiene up good enough and you fucking enough bitches, eventually one of them gonna eat your ass, bruh. Don't believe me? Go ask your daddy, go ask your uncles. I'm just trying to prepare you for when that time come. Cause you ain't gonna see it coming. It could be a drunk night. Maybe your girl probably going out to college and she wanna do something special for you in your butt. Well, look. Just know that when she lift up your balls and start going to town on your shit, shit gonna start to get really weird, really fast. If you want her to stop, just know that it's your body, your choice. Tell the bitch to stop. If you want her to keep going, that's on you. When it come to that finger play and shit, women will take advantage of you, dog. Tell her to stop if you don't want that shit. I just don't want some woman being four knuckles deep into you, and all of a sudden you can't walk no more. This nigga say four knuckles deep. <clears throat> Oh my God, dog. How to talk to a bad bitch. Y'all, when I say a bad bitch, I'm talking about a woman that's got it all. Face, titties, ass, you name it. These women right here, they used to be in the center of attention. So validation is going to be key. And I know that a lot of guys think you shouldn't validate women. That's bullshit. Especially with these fine ass women. It's just that they like to be validated on shit that we don't give a fuck about. Shit like their intelligence. How charismatic uh -huh. they are. How funny they are. Strike up a conversation with these women and um, get to know her. Dog, the bitch can be dumb as a bag of rocks and she might draw stick figures all day long. Tell her how creative she is. It'll help you stick out from the other guy. And at the same time, don't ignore her beauty because she know that that's what works for her. It's just that women... So y'all, the reason why some women are shy is because they try to maintain social acceptance. If you notice, they don't dress too far away from the norm. And also, they don't show a lot of emotion. Unlike an old loudmouth masculine bitch who just yap all the fucking time. No, the shy bitch ain't like that. See, she don't want to offend anyone because she's afraid of being judged. However, 
she want to fuck somebody who's the complete opposite of her. So if you're trying to fuck with these women, don't come off being somebody who's just like her. You need to come off being the complete opposite. Come off as the bad guy, a little bit edgy. Now, how she's going to respond to you is she might retreat a little bit and she might criticize your behavior. That's fine. She's doing that because she's fascinated by you. This is a shit test. Just keep it pushing. What she want is she want to be with somebody who's going to let her explore her thotty sides without casting judgment. All right? Do what I tell you, he really speak, and I promise you, some you'll be right there. Um, bitches with low self-esteem, we coming for that ass. Game is game. Really, Dog. Put a straight face, bro. Put the straight as a face, bro. What to send when your text message get cold? Guys, the reason why your text message go cold is because you wasn't interested or you wasn't progressing towards something. But fuck it. We got to get past that, right? Now you need to revive the conversation. Yep. So let's say you only talked to a woman for a couple of days. Maybe off this take it or leave it vibe where you really don't give a fuck whether the bitch talked to you or not. And then respark the conversation from there. You if you don't remember where the fuck she lived, try this random one. Say, you wouldn't believe the dream I had about you last night. And don't text the bitch back until she interested in what the fuck you got to say. She might ask what the dream was about. Tell her, I had a dream that me and you actually hit it off. But as soon as you bent over and we was about to have sex, a condom fell out your butt. She gonna laugh and take it from there. How to make some jewelry with your dick. Guys, since the beginning of time, women have always been impressed by jewelry. And dick jewelry ain't no different. <laughs> Bro, so I'm going to tell um, you today how to do two dick tricks that's going to impress your old lady right out the back. Fell out. Number one is the cock watch. You need to be half hard, half soft. You throw your dick on your wrist, and you wrap that shit around, and you hold it. You can either hold it with the same hand that you wrapped it around with, or you can hold it with the other hand. Regardless, you walk up to your woman, and you tell her, you know what time it is, right? Trust me, she's going to know what time it is. The other trick is the wedding ring. You need to have your hand sideways like this. Finger need to be spread. Dick gonna need to be soft. You put your dick between your middle finger and your ring finger, and then you wrap it back around between your ring finger and your pinky, and then you put the rest of it in the palm of your hand, and then push it up against your body. Then just lay back on the couch and wait on your woman to walk in the room. Just look at how amazed she gonna be when she see all the bling bling that you made with your ding -ling. Hey, y'all, game is game. Nigga gonna be in the hospital, bro. <clears throat> That's hospital worthy. Oh my God, bro. How to quit smoking cigarettes. That shit hard as fuck, y'all. ain't gonna even bullshit you. But for me personally, I had to find out something to do with all the trigger moments I had. And I had a bunch of them bitches. Like, I wanted to smoke after I drink, when I ate, while I was driving, when I got happy, when I got mad, after I fucked, didn't matter. I had a bunch of them motherfuckers. Yep. And um, mm -hmm. what I did was I started smoking more of the good shit, the healthier shit. And I roll a whole thing, but I wouldn't smoke the whole thing. Just after my trigger moments, I hit it a couple of times, and it helped me ease away from the uh, cigarettes and shit. Another thing is, you got to stop hanging around motherfuckers who smoke cigarettes. All that's going to do is just increase your craving. Mm. And it's also <clears> going <throat> to make you feel like a junkie. I'm telling you. Try well, to quit smoking cigarettes and be right hanging around somebody mm -hmm. that's smoking. They can literally smoke like half of a cigarette and then put it out and then step on that shit and throw it in the grass. And you still be looking at that bitch like, damn, that look good. <laughs> bro, he, he telling the truth, stuff. bro. He telling the truth. Right there. <clears throat> How to sneak out the house. Look, sometimes when you're living with somebody, you might want to sneak out. For what reason? I really don't give a fuck. I'm just here to tell you how to do it. So, first things first, if they got a ring doorbell, it can complicate things. Mm -hmm. And in that case, you might want to use a window. And in that case, you might want to pre-plan your sneak out. You do this by going ahead and removing the window screen earlier that day and finding out where your floorboard creaks earlier that day. It'll save you from making a lot of noise at nighttime and for you to make your move. Now, the second method is if you're laying with your woman or something and you want to sneak out, well, you got to wait for her to go to sleep and wait for the deep sleep. Wait till you hear that heavy breathing and snoring, and then I need you to turn on rain sounds or white noise. It's night-night, bitch. She ain't getting up for hours, and it's going to match the noise that you make when you're leaving the house. Now, this last method is for people who stay with their parents and whatever. Um, go downstairs in the middle of the night, almost every night, and get you a snack or a drink. They'll check up on you at first, but after a while... They'll stop Dog. and then you strike. Dog, this nigga say is way to that deep sleep where they breathing real heavy and mm -hmm. put on some rain. How to noise. turn a bitch into an angry dragon. <clears throat> Y'all, the angry dragon is a sex move. No tools required, just permission. So you either need to be getting head or fucking for about 20 to 30 minutes. If you think you're gonna bust quick and you don't think you can last that long, have them edge you on. 
If you don't know what edging is, that's basically have them tease you until you're about to come and then have them stop and repeat the process over and over for about a half an hour. The reason why you need it to last that long is because you're going to need a nice amount of man muster for this one, fellas. So when you bust, you need to bust in their mouth. After you bust in their mouth, it's one of two things you can do. One is you can pull your dick out and then slap them in the back of their head. If you don't want to do that, then after you bust in their mouth, you just need to jam your shit down their throat. In either scenario, you're going to create a gag reflex. And it's going to make your nut come out of their nostrils. Both of them. And it's supposed to be the smoke that comes from a fire-breathing dragon. All right? We Charizard and bitches. Char- this nigga here, bro. How the fuck with your baby in the room? Look, guys, if you're out here busting nuts in these women left or right, eventually you're going to get one of them pregnant. And, um... When you had that baby, most likely, y'all gonna be sleeping in the same room with that baby up to a year, maybe even more. And it's okay for you to fuck while that baby is in the same room sleeping in his crib. One of the parents might feel uneasy about it. Just let them know that baby ain't gonna remember shit. And if he sleep, you just you need to learn how to have stealth sex, okay? Be quiet, stay under the covers. If y'all can't control your moans and shit, have the other one by the pillow or turn on some white noise. Now, when the baby wake up, if the baby wake up, you got one of three choices. Number one, you can either hurry up and finish, get that nut off. Number two, you can just stop what you're doing, get up, and go tend to the baby. Or number three, you can turn the white noise up a little bit, maybe the little bastard to go back to sleep. But guys, if you can fuck a pregnant woman, that's fucking why the baby is actually inside of another human. So you can fuck while the baby in the room. This nigga say. <clears throat> How to get some head. Look, guys, you fucking with a woman and she won't suck you off? Well, the best way to do it is for you to go down on her. Most women know that if you eat some pussy, that's an indication that you want them to go down on you, too. Um, But I got to let you know that it's some real savages out here in these streets, guys. It's a lot of dudes out here that just like eating pussy. And they don't want nothing back in return. And they fuck it up for guys like me. Now, uh, most women don't think this way. That's a rare breed, but just know that she might confuse you with this type. Some niggas out the here, next man. best thing is to just ask, but ask in a nonchalant, cool way. Just, hey, he do you mind savages. giving me some head? She <laughs> might say yes, she might say no. If she say no, the way you react depends on if you're going to get some head in the future. If mm. you act like a little bitch and you huffing and puffing, you can cancel that shit, bro. Yeah, just know geez. that um, a true woman that loves to suck dick is a special woman. Because she's not willing to do it, she wants to do it. Okay. Bro, this nigga here would this heat, this helping a lot of y'all. How to do the hamburger with your dick in your balls. <laughs> so, guys, this is going to require you to be in a relaxed state. You should probably be standing up. Your dick going to need to be soft. After that, you're going to need to grab your balls with each one of your hands. Use just your fingertips. <laughs> grab your right nut. Grab your left nut. Boom, boom. After that, you're going to keep your dick in the middle. Fold that shit down with your index finger and keep it folded. Now, once you've done those three steps, I need you to rotate the whole fucking unit to a 90 degree angle. The unit. At this point, you should have one ball on top, your dick wrapped around in the middle, hamburger. and then one ball on the bottom. It's gonna resemble a hamburger. After that, it's time to go impress whoever you fucking with. Big Wee Wee Gang, go show off your Big Mac. Lil Wee Wee Gang, go show off your sliders. Hey, we going into 2023 different. Game is game. Sliders, bro. This is ridiculous, dog. How the steam engine a bitch. Y'all, the steam engine is a sex move. It requires five things. You're going to need a four-door sedan, something to smoke, a bitch, some duct tape, and permission. That might be the most important. Man. Now, how you do this is that you get whoever you're going to fuck in the back seat, and I need you to fuck them doggy style. Make sure that their head is facing the window, okay? Now, at this point, I need all the windows in the car to be up because you want the inside of the car to get hot as fuck. So fuck them hard, all right? Now, when the inside of the car get unbearably hot, I need you to roll down that back window. That's the one where their head is facing. They immediately should stick their head out of the window to get a breath of fresh air. And you immediately need to roll the window back up around their neck. Not enough to choke them, just to the point where they can't stick their head back in the car. Then you pull your dick out, you walk around the side of the car where their head is sticking out, light up something to smoke, stick it in their mouth, duct tape it around their mouth. Get back in the car and continue fucking them. Every time you hit it from the back, they're going to blow smoke out their nose. Choo-choo, bitch. What the... 
so extreme. We off the grid, grid, grid. This for oh, my kids. Oh my God, bro. Dog, that was funny. It was, there was definitely some that was <clears throat> almost, almost got me, man. Yeah. Woo. Life and scars, dog. Yeah, man. Some of the advice here, bro, is just so od, man. This was, this was hilarious, bro. <clears throat> nah, it was definitely funny, bro. Not even gonna hold you. Mm. Let us know if y'all take into account or going to take into account any. A lot of these sound dangerous, so we don't yeah. we don't advise. Yeah, a lot of them definitely. This is gonna be some hospital moments. Yeah, do not try this at home for real. Yeah, no, nah, facts. <laughs> Big facts. But yeah, oh um God, this was ridiculous. We Theo, we made it. We made it. Dude did. was hilarious though. Yeah, he definitely we was. We did make it. And you know what? I sure will not to put that Cowboys unit on at a Texas game was stronger. Yeah. Than how funny he was. But now, nah, if y'all enjoyed the video, you already know what to do, man. Make sure to like, subscribe. Shout out to the homie again for sending it our way. Mm -hmm. Y'all keep on supporting us, spreading love, being that same love, and be careful out there. Peace for out. Sure. Already. If you got a problem, then we got the solutions. And there's no illusion. I made this shit happen. I'm living life lucid. I'm switching my strategies. Now they hate on me because I'm causing casualties. But why are they after me? Deep inside they know they can't handle half of me